Hello everyone. I'd like to begin by thanking the Development Trust Association for inviting me today and by congratulating them for such an interesting and thought-provoking few days. The climate and nature crises are the single greatest long-term threats that we face. It's no exaggeration to say that the future of our planet and everything living on it depends on the world deciding to take action and take action now. With Climate Week taking place next week and Climate Fringe Week, which supports climate activism across the country the week after, and with COP26 just two months away, now is the time to mobilise people, communities and businesses to take action. We want to use COP26 when the eyes of the world will be on Scotland to demonstrate our efforts to lead the way in a fair and just transition to net zero by 2045. We want to showcase the very best of our climate action while learning from partners around the world. The Scottish Government's themes for COP26 are inclusivity and just transition. Just transition is about making clear that as we make our move to net zero, we will do it fairly and that we will leave no one behind. Inclusivity is about making sure we elevate the voices of those who are too infrequently heard, be that young people, women, or those from the Global South. Events like this are showcasing the vital role that communities play in our fight against climate change, and they demonstrate the fairness and inclusivity which are so embedded in our shared vision of a move to net zero. Just as has been the case throughout the pandemic, Communities are uniquely well placed to play a critical role in stimulating that transformational behaviour change that we need. This is why I consider this event to be so important as it highlights the considerable local on the ground work being delivered to mitigate the effects of climate change, supporting communities to be resilient and more sustainable. I am truly heartened by the fantastic work being delivered across the country by our development trusts on our islands, across rural Scotland and in our towns and cities. There are too many examples for me to mention in detail here, but I am really struck by the range of community led climate initiatives being delivered, including bringing land into community ownership, waste reduction, local energy projects, community car clubs, active travel and successful community food growing. Not only does the work that you do help reduce emissions, it also helps bring communities together, enhances the natural environment, can address fuel poverty and all by mobilising and organising incredible community effort. Moving towards a net zero society will require us all to embrace significant change. We are building on the success of the Scottish Government's Climate Challenge Fund, which has provided over £110 million in funding since 2008, and that a number of the trusts here have been involved in by testing a range of new initiatives, such as the Climate Action Hubs and Towns. These initiatives aim to stimulate community level climate action and ensure a collaborative approach to drive widespread awareness and behaviour change. I'm so delighted that Thurso Community Development Trust is here today as they are one of our two Pathfinder Climate Action Hubs testing the model and the novel approach and they will help the wider network evolve. We are also seeking to build climate into our place-based initiatives to ensure all funding supports our climate ambitions as well as wider outcomes such as tackling inequality. One example of this is the recently launched Scotland Loves Local Fund, which encourages communities to think, choose and love local. Whether it be funding small scale improvements or adaptations, climate or active travel programmes, home delivery, digital schemes and much more, empowered communities will be able to decide how best to improve their local area through creative projects, bringing activity and vitality into our towns and neighbourhoods and supporting the net zero imperative. A just and fair transition to net zero is essential for the health of our planet and our people. 
we can reduce emissions, improve air quality, enjoy better green space, protect our nature, and ultimately ensure that we leave a healthy planet for future generations to enjoy. Community organisations have a key role to play in this crucial mission. And so I want to thank you for all your incredible efforts and look forward to working with you in the important years ahead. Thank you.